What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the new App Store app called XREC. I recommend downloading this as soon as possible because this is actually an iOS screen recorder and it somehow got on the Apple App Store um, and Apple still hasn't removed it two days in. So I thought I would do a review for you guys because it is pretty cool to have screen recorders and apps like this in the App Store when Apple sometimes doesn't approve them and I also think it's a really cool app to have a screen recorder. Um, I do have another screen recorder because I did jailbreak this device at one point and I will be doing a video on that. But this is going to be a video review of the XREC app which is a screen recorder in the App Store. This is running on my iPod Touch 4 on iOS 6. It does not work on iOS 7 yet. I will update you guys when it does work on iOS 7 and I believe it only works on iOS 6. I tried it on my iOS 5 device and it did not work. So this is currently iOS 6 only but let's get straight into the review. Um, as you can see, uh, you go ahead and open it up, it's got a record button, it's got the videos button, it's got a settings button. You do need an internet connection at first when you are first using this app to connect. So make sure you have an internet connection when you do that. I'm not sure why it actually uh, it requires that, but when you first open it, you do need the internet connection just to let you guys know. Uh, so once you have that internet connection passed, as you can see here, uh, I was connected to Wi-Fi on my iPod, so I did that. And you'll have a record button, a videos button, and a settings button. In the settings button, you can actually change the video size, the video orientation to landscape or portrait. You can also uh, change the audio, so I'll set it to record audio. Um, you can also sample the rate, and you can change whether it's stereo or mono audio. Uh, this will list where all of your videos are when you actually record them. And you can also record by clicking the play button and clicking the stop button when you're done. So I'll show you how it, go ahead, how it works here. I'll go ahead and click play. This means it's going to start recording. As you can see, the timer starts going. And I'll go ahead and go to the home screen here. You can scroll around and do whatever you want. Let's say I want to open up settings. You can do that. Uh, let's say I want to go ahead and open up newsstand. You can go ahead and do that. Pretty much it, it'll do exactly what you think it'll do. It just goes ahead and records your screen. To get back to the app, you can actually click this red bar up here in the status bar or click the icon. So I'll go ahead and click the red bar there. As you can see, it's still recording. And to end your recording, you click the stop button and it will actually encode your movie. Depending on how long the recording is, it will take longer or shorter. And as you can see right there, the video ends up sitting right there. I'll go ahead and click the little arrow. As you can see, you can either save it to your camera roll or email the video. So I'll go ahead and show you what the video quality actually looks like here. You'll hear my video voice as I was recording this video before. And the quality is pretty good, as you guys can see, it was recording my audio. And for a screen recorder, it does record at a very good frame rate. It's a great little screen recorder here and does work very, very well. I love it and it's great for showing people your screen if you want to record and upload to YouTube or something like that. And you can simply go ahead and save it to your camera roll. As you can see, I can click Save to Camera Roll, go ahead and click OK, then go back to my home screen here, go to Photos. And as you guys can see right there, it will be directly in the camera roll. So this is XREC. I think it works really well. Again, you need an internet connection at the beginning when you first open the app, so make sure you have that. And I'm not sure if you do need to be connected to the internet while you're recording, but it would be safer to have an internet connection while you're recording. Uh, so go ahead and make sure you do that. But overall, it's a great app. It is on the App Store. You don't need a jailbreak, so it works really well. And this is a great little app that has been released. So go ahead and download it. The download link will be in the description. And download it sooner than later because Apple may be removing this as this does uh, seem like an app that they might be removing sometime soon. They don't usually like screen recorders without a jailbreak. Uh, so go ahead and download it. I really recommend it. works great. I will be recording a few videos using this screen recorder and upload them to my channel so you guys can check out how the quality looks. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up and favorite it as well as subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my vlog channel. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it, guys. And I will let you know when this works on iOS 7 and iOS 5 and below. They are working on updating it, as the developer has said. So go ahead and download it so you still have the app, even if it is removed from the App Store. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want some paid iOS or Android apps, they're free in the description. So check that out. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Enjoy. Enjoy extract. Peace.